Hi there, uh, this is Dave from Understanding Tesla's Stationary Waves and Scalar Energy and this is Tesla Tech. Um, this is a remake of Tesla's 3, 6, and 9. Um, as you can see right here I have the drive set at 1.2 centimeters and I have this calibration line here set right on the center of it. Okay. I'm going to reset that and we're going to let this go one cycle and see what happens. Oh. Uh, okay, I gotta set this, I'm got to going to set this down to 0 0.3 centimeters. You've seen that I had the calibration line set at 1.2 centimeters. Uh, okay. Now we're going to now we're going to let it go one cycle and see what happens. right there. What happened? We got 1.2 centimeters on the output. We're driving it with 0 0.3 centimeters. If you subtract the drive from that you have 0 0.9 centimeters. So 0 0.3 centimeters input is a 6 dB gain and it gives you an additional 0 0.9 centimeters on the drive. It stored 1.2 centimeters but that's because of we're taking out the, the drive that got it there. So it's an additional um, 0 0.9 centimeters. Now this could be 3 watts and it would be 3 watts in. Um, 6 dB gain would get you an additional 9 watts out with a 12 watts stored on the, st on the standing wave. But let's say that this we were using this for over unity, then that 0 0.3 centimeters we'd just use to drive it again the next cycle. See, so we but we'd be getting nine centimeters out for nothing then for free or 0.9. Um, now I've seen a lot of people out there claiming that this is Tesla's three, six, and nine and everything. Okay, but how does it relate? How does it relate to what Tesla was doing? How does it relate to any? free energy he was doing. This is a quarter wavelength and that's what Tesla was driving his wireless energy transmission system with was a quarter wavelength and it's a 300 percent over unity. It's a 6 dB gain per cycle of the drive. Um, I could let this go one more cycle and it's going to be another um, 1.2 centimeters. Um, so each each drive cycle you're going to get an additional 0 0.9 centimeters or 9 watts if you want to call it that but you can I couldn't make a calibration line here because it's below the plunger but you can see that you know this is the center line and this was the 1.2 and that's about the same distance so it did the same thing again it's going to keep doing that every time uh, for every cycle, it's going to be an it's going to be uh, one one point two centimeters stored on the sandy wave. We just took that zero point three centimeters out because that's what we what got it there, and that's an additional zero point nine centimeters per cycle. And this is related directly to Tesla's wireless transmission system. This is a quarter wavelength. Um, somebody else showed me something else that relates to the 369 directly to what Tesla was doing. Um, I haven't seen it. This does. I just showed you. It showed you that it's related to the over unity on his um, wireless transmission system. So there you have it. This is a remake of that video. My last one, the the sound was really bad. I hope this sound is coming out better on this one. Talk to y'all later.